Hello class. Today we're going to continue working with word problems and we're going to look at this first one, question one. And we're going, to, it's a single step word problem and we're going to look at the phrase, let me get my underlying tool here, or my drawing tools, how much more. Sean's school raised $32,587. Leslie's school raised $18,749. That's a lot of money for both schools. How much more money did Sean's school raise? Well, now we're going to realize one thing. The question is asking how much more. And this, I mean, we're going to draw a tape diagram. You know, we've been working with those for a while now. I'm just going to write S for Sean draw a little lower here and his tape is gonna look like this right I could probably short just a hair it doesn't need to be that long mr. Royans okay and how much did he have he had thirty two thousand five hundred eighty seven and Leslie had you know a little over half of that. And Leslie had 18749 dollars. Okay, and we want to know how much more. So we have this missing portion here. I don't even need to do that actually now that I think about it. We just have this missing portion. And I'm going to use M. Missing. How do we go about solving this, guys? Anybody have an idea? Well, hopefully you said subtraction, Mr. Royans, because that's what it is. We have $32,587 that Sean had minus the $18,749 that Leslie made. And we're going to check our numbers, see if we can subtract. I can't do 7 minus 9, so I regroup from the 7, turn that into a 17. I cannot, and I can do the 7 minus 4. I cannot do 5 minus 7, so I will regroup from the 2, make this 5 a 15. I cannot do 1 minus 8, so I'm going to regroup from that 3 in the 10,000s and make that an 11. Okay, 17 minus 9 is 8. 7 minus 4 is 3, 15 minus 7 is 8, 11 minus 8 is 3, and 2 minus 1 is 1. $13,838. Doesn't that seem reasonable? I think so, because it's not some... If you had said, oh, he made $50,000 more than her, well, he's only made 32000 she made eighteen, So... You need to look at the reasonableness of your answer. And also, because it's a word problem, guys, we need to make sure that we are answering properly. So we say, the question wants to know how much more. You say, Sean's school raised $13,838 more than... Leslie's school. I'll make that a little bigger for you there so you can see it. Bam. Not too hard, right? It's just looking at what the word problem is asking. In that case, it was how much more? Now, question two here says, at a parade, 97,853 people sat in bleachers. 388, 5,547 people stood along the street. How many fewer people were in the bleachers than, than standing in the street? Okay. Well, what is, what's our important information here, guys? Guys and gals? He's black here. Well, you can see how many people are sitting in the bleachers. 
We have a number telling us how many people are standing along the street. And the key word here to figure out the uh, how to answer the problem is how many fewer, how many fewer people, how many fewer people were in the bleachers. That's going to be the difference between our tape diagrams that we're going to draw. It's going to look a lot like the last problem, where we're going to have the bleachers. I'm going to use a B here for bleachers. And that's uh, terrible. Uh, we have 97,853 in our tape. But this right here is our unknown, right? <clears throat> Now, standing, that's a heck of a lot of people. That's all of that together, right? And that was 388,547. Okay, what do we need to do here? What's our, what is our process? It's subtract, Mr. Royans, it's subtract. Oh, did somebody say subtract? I, I think I heard subtract, and they're absolutely right. So we're going to subtract 388,547. Remember, big number always on top. Minus 97,853. And I'm going to go through with the color green here. And I'm going to regroup, rebundle, and make sure I can subtract. I can do 7 minus 3. I cannot do 4 minus 5, so 5 becomes 4. This 4 will become 14. Sorry, I had 10 on the brain there. 4 minus 8 I can't do, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to regroup from that and turn this 4 into 14. That becomes 7. I can't do 7 minus 7. I can't do 8 minus 9, so 3 becomes 2. 8 becomes 18. Now I can subtract everything. 7 minus 3 is 4, 14 minus 5 is 9, 14 minus 8 is 6, 7 minus 7 is 0, 18 minus 9 is 9, and remember, like I said, if there's never a number there, just imagine it's 0, 2 minus 0 would be 2. 290,694. But you're not done. Because, like I said on the other previous problem, I want you to use good sentence. I want you to write a good sentence when answering a word problem. That's the things we're going to be looking for. You're going to say, there were 290,694 fewer people in the bleachers than along the street. You see that, guys? Because the question asks how many fewer people were in the bleachers than standing on the street. And our answer, answer A equals, there were 290,694 people, fewer people in the bleachers than along the street. So when you're talking about separate things, you use the word fewer talking about those separate things. For example, um, if I'm talking about, say that somebody has more apples than me, I'm going to say, I have fewer apples than you do. Or I have fewer, <clears throat> um, fewer pencils than you do. If, if you have 25 pencils, I have 10. I have fewer pencils than you do. Okay. All right, we're going to keep this train rolling. We're going to look at a third problem here. And this one, it says a pair of hippos weighed 5,201 kilograms together. The female weighed 2,038 kilograms. How much more did the male weigh than the female? Well, this one's got a lot of information. It's kind of loaded with information. We need to figure out what is the important stuff here? I'm going to underline with red on this one. So a pair of hippos weighed 5,201 kilograms. 
That's what the kg means. It means kilograms. And in module two, we're going to work with uh, the metric system. So pay attention. Kg, kilograms. Um, a female hippo weighed 2,038 kilograms. How much more does the male weigh than the female? Well, this one is going to be a couple steps. We need to figure out how much more. How much more did the male weigh? Let's get to our uh, tape diagrams. And we're going to look at this one. I'm going to say female. Weighed how much? 2,038 kilograms. Okay. Male. He weighed at least as much as her, so that part of the tape's going to be the same. But then he weighed a little bit more because the female didn't weigh the whole thing. So he weighed at least as much as her and then a little bit more. So the male, we don't know this part. And we want to know, well, we know that part's at least 2038, but we need to find out this missing piece here. And all together... They both weighed 5,201 kilograms together, right? That's not a good G. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Well, first, to find out how much the male weighed, we need to do what? Subtract again, Mr. Royans. Well, 5,201 oh, kilograms minus, gosh, not a good G. I can't draw good Gs with this stylus, huh? There we go. Minus what? Well, the female weighs 2,038 <clears throat> kilograms. So we're going to subtract, and let's see, I'm going to go through, I cannot do 1 minus 8, I can't do it. borrow from there, and I can't do that, okay, I can do that, regroup from the 1, rebundle, <coughs> that's going to become 10, but I'm going to need to borrow from that again, or regroup from that, that'll be 9, that will become 11, alright, 11 minus 8 is 3, 9 minus 3 is 6, 1 minus 0 is 1, and 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay. So we know the guy, the male, weighed 3,163 kilograms. But the question is not the total weight of the male. It is not the total weight of the male. It is how much more he weighed than her. So that's finding out what the number is between what the female weighs and what the male weighs. So the male weighs 3,163 kilograms. And we're going to subtract what the female weighs, which is 2,038. And we're going to subtract that. Um, I can't do 3 minus 8, so I'm going to have to regroup from here. 6 becomes 5, that becomes 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 minus 0 is 1. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So the male weighed 1,000, or the male weighed, yes, male weighed, sorry, 1,125 kilograms more than the female. And that's how you're going to write the answer to that. Okay. I'm going to move this over here. You say the male weighed more. Weighed, I'm sorry, 1,125 kilograms more 
then, then the female hippo. Bam. And then our last one, a copper wire was 240 meters long. After 60 meters was cut off, it was double the length of a steel wire. How much longer was the copper wire than the steel wire at first? Now this one's a little, little trickier. So I want to show you the steps here. So I'm going to use C, copper wire. Show me the copper wire at first. How long was it? Altogether, it was 240, right? Actually, I'm gonna go down a little more. It was 240 meters at the beginning, right? And then I want you to show me what happened to the copper wire. What was taken off of it? 60 meters, right? Okay. Then I'm going to show what I know about the steel wire. After the 60 meters was cut, was cut off, the, t the copper wire was double the length of the steel. So I know that double means two of that. So I'm going to go half. That means the steel was half of that. But it wants to know how much longer was the copper wire than how much longer was the copper wire than the steel wire at first. What do we need to do? Well, first, you're going to look at this equation. You're going to go 240 minus 60. 240 minus 60 is, well, you can't do 4 minus 6, so I'm going to have to turn that into 1. That becomes 14. 0 minus 0 is 0. 14 minus 6 is 8. 180. So then we have to say, okay, Mr. Royans, what do I do with that 180? Well, after the 60 was taken off, the copper wire was double the length of the steel wire. Now, I said before, double means uh, two times as much. So you're going to have to cut 180 in half. What's 180 divided by 2? Well, for those of my division aficionados, we go like this. 180 divided by 2. 2 goes into 18. Let me uh, go down here. 2 goes into 18 9 times, 18, 0, 2 goes into 0, 0 times, 0, we're all done, 90. So we have, we know that the steel was 90 meters long then, but how much longer was the copper wire than the steel wire at first? And at first it was 240 meters. So we're going to do 240 minus 90. Uh, 14 minus 9 is 5. 150. The copper wire was... 150 meters longer than the steel wire first. Make that bigger for you.
Okay? All right, guys. I'm going to task you with solving some word problems like this. Please refer back to this lesson for understanding what questions are being asked.